These concepts are really fun for me to make because I know that I have failed so many times, struggled so many times and uh, and, and had faced so many challenges for so many times and now talking about those struggles makes me feel so proud because if not for those challenges, I wouldn't be here recording this specific topic for you because I don't know where I would be, where I would have gone because I think failures teaches us more than the successes. Again, success is great. Success teaches you framework, strategies, all cool stuff. But when you fail at something, you know exactly what not to do. Matthew says, right, if when you know exactly what who you are not, it becomes so easier for you to start figuring out who you are, eliminating distractions. Thank you so much for joining in this video. We are going to talk about five things I learned from my first failed sale. You know why this topic is important? Because you are going to fail up front. It's, it's a very honest thing. When you are going to pitch your product, you may pitch your product and become very successful in the first go. Probably the second time you will fail. Fifth time you will fail. Tenth time you will fail. Failure is a part of the game. If you don't know, if you, I'll tell you one small example. If you go make overnight five lakh rupees, you are going to get. That's a very bold statement. Should I? Shouldn't I? Should I or shouldn't I? You know exactly what I was about to say. I'm not going to say that. What happens is when you make that, you don't go through that struggle. You don't go to that challenge. And when you go to the top, you will fall down harder because I have seen people who make that success. Even you have been probably seen those people who have gone from zero making that amount of income and crashing even faster than they started making money. You know why that happens? Because not acknowledging the struggles. Like if you become, if you, you, you just not value that particular phase of journey i think in past six years of my life i was just pondering this morning that six years of entrepreneurship this i'll call this like the phase one of my life entrepreneurship journey in this six years i've learned one thing if i just had to boil it down to one small little thing patience because if you are impatient if you start comparing yourself with people if you are if you want to make money super fast it's just not going to work out for you. You need to be patient. Yes, you need to be subtle yet aggressive. We talk about aggression. We talk about speed because it's so important. Yet also you need to be patient with yourself, with the results. That's what it takes. I think we didn't even went in the topic and I started talking about so many different things. Anyways, let's come all the way to this one uh, thing that we're talking about. Five things I've learned from my first failed sale. Like a few things to know. Before I made my first sale, I was already into four years of entrepreneurship where two years were active being a coach and entrepreneur and two years just a thought process of it. So four years. By this time, be before I even made my first sale, because that's the first time I attempted to make a sale, I kind of failed. That by that time, I trained more than 2000 members in my mentors community. I actually trained who were making lots of money. I had skills. I was training people on skill sets and mindsets and tactical part of it. I was great at what I was doing. And I also had a great feedback from people where people trusted me, loved me, valued me, respected my perspectives, respected the thought processes. And again, more four points to add. Even having those cool points with me, when I made for my first sale, first attempt to make the sale for the first time, it was literally my first time. I was open. I was scared because I was feeling these these people that I was going to pitch, they were close to me. Okay, I am close to them. It's like it's like it works both ways, right? So when I was scared to lose them because of now I am bringing money to the relationship and I valued this relationship. One second. I was training them, I was coaching them, I was, they knew what I was, what I was great in, I knew what they were great at. Now that I probably bring money into the picture, they might back off and they might not even see my face, they might not even talk to me after that. So I was kind of scared of that one thing. Third thing, though I had great skills of so many things, I was completely testing out new skill, sales. Now I want to start making money because now I, I need to provide food for the family and shelter for the family because now I want to start making money. So that was a new skill. The sales was literally the new skill. And the fourth point was I want, it was my first attempt on even asking people money. That being said, that was like the context of five things that I've learned. Okay. So the whole picture given of me, not the whole bits and pieces of it. 
five things that i have learned is where even it will be beneficial for you not an inspiration not a motivation but just you knowing these five things will be so beneficial for you because now you are walking with a mindset you are carrying okay this is what's going to happen i've got great mindset great positive mindset that's all cool but you should also know okay what it also comes along with like the two legged mans and people we are right? anyways point number 1 expect zero conversions because it happens it just happens expect zero conversion no matter how much experience you had no matter what credibility you hold with the people no matter what bond you hold with the people when you walk in for the first time you might make money based on the relationship again but if you were just like me who was just starting off who are attempting for the first time to make that scale i made zero money it took me another week to make 12000 rupees that's a different story but then that lesson i kind of learned that lesson in the very first week like okay, i shouldn't expect anything great because now when i'm not expecting it's a very cold to cold at this point in time but then mj amazing spider no the spider man no way home she said uh, when you expect disappointments when you expect disappointments you are never disappointed i was like a great works in entrepreneurship as well so again it's a very bad advice bad quote to quote at this point in time but then you do you walk in with all positivity but when you don't make a sale what other thing is happening is you are gaining confidence you are gaining an experience okay this if i do this this is not going to work next time i'm not going to test this out i'm going to test a different phase out so you can walk in that direction again positivity so expect zero conversion second one blend in with people this is important what do i mean by blending in with people think about these two things they have to be it has to be affordability because if you're pitching a 5000 rupees product or 10000 rupees of product to a student who is living barely living on pocket money because neither they've got like juices to drink they've got like burgers to eat they've got they have got traveling to do they have got things to do in their life they don't have money if you charge 5000 10000 20000 they just don't have money and if you're targeting students if you charge 500 rupees they might be able to flex be flexible on those terms and you need to know their affordability and your profits that's very important like you need to know who you are talking to so point number 3 you will struggle to even phrase those words when you share your story for the first time when you even if you go by hearting and mugging up the whole script the words will just not come up or probably you'll mess it up or probably you'll you'll say some, the last thing first or probably you say the first thing last you're just going to mess things up so being very aware of this thing as well because you will struggle in the first go you will have that challenge and that challenge is good in a way in my perspective because you're gaining experience and you you're exactly knowing okay this is this is who fazil is this is how fazil said and this is how fazil supposed to say now that you know you have something to measure before that prior to that you did not had anything to measure now that you are attempting for the first time great okay nice that shouldn't be like that that's supposed to be like that next time and rework on it probably rehearse it probably prepare it in a better way and stuff like that but no for you will fumble and 100% lack confidence and conviction on the face this video is just for people just for you if you are really serious about doing things no sugar coating because this is going to happen you are going to shake two weeks back two weeks back i was given by an opportunity and i was shaking myself because that opportunity was so big for me i never got that big of an opportunity and when i was making my own pitch i fumbled i mumbled and i'll tell you exactly what happened i was made to made the pitch that moment on a one to one call and i had zero words to say we were silent for 3 minutes and you know when you are made to make that pitch is like when you was like a fuzzle tell me what do you want what are you going to charge for these calls like that when you go to that moment those 3 minutes are going to be like 3 hours because now you are blank and that call is that person is waiting for you and i literally said this words i lacked confidence i lacked conviction because it was a different level of sales for me different level i was like i was silent for like 30 seconds and i said to that person fuzzle is not this silent is never this silent in a conversation especially in a pitch you know what that person said he's way beyond that person is way experienced and what is it fuzzle i have patience 
I was like, dude, I have to learn things from you. Happened with me like two weeks back. Fresh Terry. You will lack confidence. You will lack conviction. Point of affair. It's the first time that you're doing it. This is just for you when you're doing it for the first time. You will be bad at it. You have to acknowledge that and do it anyway. Because when you do it, that's the first step. That first step is just going to get multiplied and it will take you to places that you have no idea where you're going to go. Because if you take the first harder step, the, the, the momentum is going to pick up. When the momentum starts to pick up, it's going to be easier for you, it's going to be smoother for you and you are going to do it anyway because now you know that I was very bad in the first go and better than what I was doing before. That being said, five points, five things that I learned. Except zero conversions blend, you should be blending things with your expertise and their affordability. Third one, you will struggle, you will fumble, you will have conviction. It's your first time, it's supposed to be bad. And I kind of have that wink while emoji written for you. Let me see this. It's supposed to be bad. Don't worry about it. Just like Rocket does in Guardians of Galaxy. Like, it's, you're not supposed to see this. Anyways, so that brings us to the conclusion of this one video. Thank you so much for making this topic, me and the video part of your day or the podcast part of it. Thank you so much and I am going to see you in another video. Yes, I can follow the Rahim.